All right, so we're gonna go on and do a couple more with substitution. Um, again, what you're looking for is the variable that has the coefficient of one. So now I can go ahead and move that four over and I can solve this and I have y is equal to positive four x plus 13. Now, once I know what y is, I go ahead and replace that with y, everything that I see inside there. So that leaves me with three times everything that was on the inside up here, which was four x plus 13 is equal to 38 plus 12 x. I take and multiply my three to both of those and three times four gives me 12 x and three times 13 gives me plus 39. Now, if this is starting to look a little suspicious to you is because it is. Um, I can tell right away, but what happens, what I want you to notice is if I subtract 12 x from both sides, that's zero, this is zero, and I'm left with this equation of 39 is equal to 38. Since I know that this is not possible, this is an example of the two lines having no solution. And the two lines have no solution, remember when the two lines are parallel. And that happens when they have the same slope. And we can prove that if you wanted to. If I go back and look at my first equation, this has a slope of four. And if I divide everything in my second equation through by three, you would also get a slope of equal to four here. So yep, I'm 100% positive. I have two parallel lines and there is no solution to uh, this question. All right, so something similar to question eight is going to be a systems of equations by substitution. Now, again, we have this x is to the, has a coefficient of one, so I wanna move the three y over and that will give me, I do that by adding three y to both sides and that gives me x is equal to positive three y minus four. Now, wherever I have my X, I replace it with everything on the inside here. So let's go ahead and do that and replace that with my X. So now I have negative nine Y is equal to negative 12 minus three. And again, I'm replacing that with everything on the inside. So that is three Y minus four. On the left side, I'm gonna bring down the nine Y is equal to negative 12 take the negative three and multiply it times both pieces there. And that's gonna give me a nine y plus 12, that negative three times a negative four is a positive. Now over here on this side of the equation, those two of the 12s are on the same side of the equations. So it's a negative 12 plus 12. And I get this really strange negative nine y is equal to negative nine y, or y is always equal to y. This is an example of an infinite number of solutions because what I'm talking about here is two lines that are right on the top of each other. So this is an example of when you would get an infinite number of solutions.